Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. For the video today, I wanted to take you along with me to TK Maxx, just again, like when I took you to Kmart, in case maybe you are under some sort of lockdown or quarantine, or perhaps you just want to see what these shops have at the moment. I'm obviously going in to look at the Christmas stuff, and I'm also currently just roasting in the car, so I need to get out of here. I don't think I'll necessarily buy anything today, but maybe some things will jump out at me. I might be surprised. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. I'm just about to go inside and get into that aircon. All right, I'm in and I just found the beauty section. There are quite a few nice little Christmas packs, just things like hand cream. I like those little eggnog bath bombs. And where did I see? There were bath salts as well. So there's pretty big bags. These all seem to be Christmas scents, gingerbread, there's pomegranate vanilla, frankincense and myrrh, is it? Um, this one, not so much, but I do see they're all pretty cheap, only $8. I think it's coming with me. And there's nice little 10 and below gifts, these bath bombs and little hand cream packs I see. It looks like they all have nice Christmas scents as well. They'd be nice stocking stuffers. I also had to take a stroll down the pet aisle. I spied these, even though obviously the fabric is rippable, they're pretty cheap. And I also noticed that you fill it with a plastic bottle. So it's, I suppose if they destroy that, then you can pop another one in. The elf nog is very cute. <laughs> Might have to come back for these. I'll think about whether the dogs need any new toys. And I see these little just double packs of tartan sort of bones. And this is really sweet as well. Now I'm looking at some sort of kitchen fabric type stuff or, you know, tea towels. I love these. Yeah, there. Where are they? $17 for a pack of four. I swear, I think in my house that I buy, when I have a long-term home, I would love Christmas tea towels. I feel like then I'd feel like a real adult. And we're just gonna look at some mugs. I love this little Christmas kookaburra. There's a bit of Christmas Australian stuff in TK Maxx at the minute. That's really sweet as well. I'll see if I can get a better look. So just a little mix of Christmas prints, but there's not many mugs at the moment. Now this isn't Christmassy, just really adorable and it caught my eye, a tiny pet lounge. It is 129, but God, it's beautiful. <laughs> now we've got some cookie cutters. There's a lot of nice shapes, standard gingerbreads, but also other or gingerbread men, but other Christmassy shapes. And yeah, they're all about 10 or less by look of it. Lots of other little things like spatulas. And can someone tell me what is with Christmas dinosaurs? Like I've seen a lot of them around. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> someone let me know. I think this is much more my speed. He's very cute. Now I found the real Christmas mugs. Oh, this one jumped out at me. I love that, that's so adorable. And I can't believe it's only seven. So I like that. Then there's these little ones, a little bit more simple and I guess tiny treat jars. Big cookie jars as well. Could you imagine that on the bench filled with you know, biscuits on Christmas Day. But uh, I can imagine this mug in my home. Now I found these plates too. These would be nice for, I guess, a really special treat on the day. It's very heavy, so it feels quite strong, I guess. Then there are these little plates as well. I don't actually know what you'd use it for. Is that meant to be a knife for like cheese or dips or something? but also pretty low cost. 
I've got to stop saying that. Obviously, it all is. I like this little guy. There's even a butter stand. Now I've found all the random decorations. There's just lots of cute, you know, snowmans and reindeer. I also see a few koalas around, but I like that. It's sort of velvety. Very nice, a bit more chic, Christmas sort of style. And yeah, there's a koala. Now these, I just walked past, took me a second to realize they're little um, ramekins. And could you imagine having like a, I don't know, I'd probably make a mini cherry pies. Here's one of the koalas I was talking about. Lots of cute soft ones and surfing Santa. That's how he gets around in Australia. Um, only 17. Lots of crackers. They look pretty cheap, although last year I made my own. I would recommend if you can find a pack. I also remember here last year I saw these boxes, which I loved. I think I maybe bought one, but they'd be really useful for storing Christmas decorations, which is what I did, or obviously for putting gifts in. So yeah, they, I think, again, prices on all similar objects seem the same. That was $8. This one looks a little bit more luxe, but $10 for that. It's also a nice way to sort of reuse these sort of packagings for gift giving and maybe people can find a purpose for it. I think this one's the cutest. I like that Christmas trees sign on the front. Now I just found these syrups. They look nice, sort of very Christmassy flavors, four types, um, amaretto, cinnamon, peppermint and vanilla. And I noticed they're actually all vegan, coincidentally. Um, $8, so I'm kind of tempted, but I know I'd only like the vanilla and cinnamon. But there's lots of other nice looking stuff. Ooh. Chai, I do love, and I see a big vegan sort of writing jumping out at me. It says sticky chai, what does that mean? I guess it's like a big clumpy mix in. It's only $13. Looks like the last one as well. Do I get it? Do I get it? I just found all the cute tags and bags. I think these stickers look really special. Only $4. You're coming with me. Um, I love this gift bag as well. I would think that would be nice for like my sister or something. Only $4 or $3.50. I do have a lot of bags, so I don't think I can buy any more, but I love these. They look all really nice, high quality. Little card set, I guess. I do love all the dog stuff as well. There's a lot of dog printed stuff um, around. And I think these, yeah, they're what $5, but they are gift box or gift card boxes. To make it a bit more substantial looking. These also look really luxe as well. Gift tags. I guess to tie on presents or maybe um, I'd probably use them on gift bags. Only five. Now I found a whole snow globe aisle and look there's Bren and I in a snow globe. <laughs> yes, I think these play music as well. I do like the idea of snow globes. I don't have any. I don't know where I'd put them, but I do like looking at these. And there's so many. Now I found one little stand of some um, candles and stuff. And also room sprays. That can be nice to mix it up from the candles, I think. So they've got some sort of tree scents and also, what's this, cinnamon vanilla? and I really like the print on that. But yeah, the candles look a little plain in my opinion compared to last year, but 
what's on this side it looks like some of these are statues or like little statues and I think they're filled with potpourri yeah can you see that in there so that's kind of cool I guess for a subtle scent only 10 now this is so gorgeous I love that um, for like a centerpiece I guess 40 bucks these are a little bit more plain 35 it would be good if you're hosting I think or maybe um maybe all month long if you kept it on your kitchen table and look at these stockings these are really nice they just look like um sort of hand knitted sort of special care put in um lots of nice designs but where they're 25 so not bad now i found the actual candle aisle and i'm concerned because nothing really looks christmasy in here i think these are all standard scents that one oh not really yeah that little stand must have been all the christmasy stuff I'm scared because, uh, I mean, look, they've even got an Ed Hardy candle. Can you see that? Yikes. Alright, let's calm down and look at some blankets. These look really nice. And yes, this is Australia. We don't need blankets around Christmas time, but hey, if you're blasting the aircon, maybe you would want to snuggle up under a blanket still. They're also cute. Now there's a lot of Christmas pillows. Not many Christmas candles, but so many Christmas pillows. They're all really sweet looking. I think kind of like the tea towels. Another sign I think of, you know, feeling like I made it. I would just love to have Christmas cushions. They're all so different, but I think this is the sweetest. It's got a dog on it. Obviously I love. And it's only 25. Hmm. All right, I am home now and I actually picked up a few things. I wasn't expecting it, but some things popped out and I just decided to grab them. So I'm going to work my way through because it was such a surprise and I didn't have a carry bag. I did end up having to buy one of the reusable bags full to the brim, as well as my little carry bag I had with me. So I got a lot more than I thought I would, but I think that these are all bits that I'm kind of lacking at the moment. You'll see what I mean. I might actually start though with some random things because I did get some Christmas things and some random things as well. I'll just start with those so we have the Christmas stuff to look forward to. There's not too many non-Christmas things though, don't worry. Now the first of which is a visor. It's just made out of this sort of woven material and I saw it and thought I have been meaning to get one. Let's see. Get over that button. Mmm. I feel like this looks a little dumb. Is that really high up on my head? I don't know what's going on with it. I feel like I look like I'm gonna go out on a jungle safari right now. I think the main reason why I wanted to pick this up was so I could wear it with my hair up. Not really like now in a ponytail or something when I'm walking the dogs or going to the dog park. I am always pretty careful in the sun, but especially now since I'm on Accutane. I know I mentioned it a lot lately, but I've got a lot of hats and I do have one visor, but it's more a face visor. So one of those plastic sort of UV shields that goes down. And I thought I would like a visor that doesn't make me look like such a freak. Um, but this was just $12.99. Saw it at the front of the shop and had to scoop it up. It actually feels pretty sturdy as well. Like it's um, quite flexible. So I don't think it's going to crack or break like the weaving. You know what I mean? If you've seen sort of uh, woven hats, I don't know if there's another name for it, but that seems pretty good. I also picked up a pack of sort of reusable grocery bags. So just for produce, I do have quite a lot of these at the moment, or I might have a 10 pack, but I do buy a lot of fruit and veggies and sometimes I run out of the ones that I have when I bring them with me and have to use the little plastic ones. So I thought I'd grab a few more. These are meant to be large, so I guess I can fit big bundles of like kale or whatnot in them. The ones that I currently have, and have been using for a while are just from 
like flora and fauna i think or the cruelty free shop i bought them online but saw these in person and they were the last pack so i had to get these and they were pretty cheap only 9.99 so happy with those very useful next up is a candle and this one is sadly not christmas related it's just a black candle on the front it says japanese kiandoru and it says rest so if you can see it's just plain black i think it looks kind of interesting compared to a lot of other candles i have and the scent is also pretty unique i feel i think it kind of smells like men's cologne or something it's got a bit of a masculine scent which i like and don't have too many candles like and it was just 9.99 i've got two more things also sorry about the sun it's just gone behind a cloud this is a big fake book so a book box i don't know have you guys seen these sort of things before i've always seen them and sometimes they have like tacky outsides but this one kind of looks nice i might be able to put some secret things in there like presents or i mean i don't really know but i just thought it's something that i want and i've been thinking about for a while and finally found some that i like the look of on the outside so it just has kind of like a gray or kind of minty base with this gold on top and yeah it looks like a book like this but obviously it's fake you can just stash secret little things inside and it was only 12.99 last of all i picked up a wedding album and this seemed a little bit funny just to see in the shop because there were quite a few and i realized i don't have one it might be a bit of an old-fashioned thing i know people still get them but i think it's like if you have a photographer because Bren and I didn't. Um, it's just something that I didn't think about, but I figured I might print out some wedding pictures and fill it up because it might be a nice little keepsake. We still have a lot of pictures from the day that I really love, despite the fact we didn't have a professional photographer. Um, yeah, could be cute to fill up. There's a lot of pages. I don't think I can fill the whole thing, but um, I do like the fact that it's got a spot for the photo as well as an area to just write things about it. So maybe I can write like what we were doing at that time reading vows or names of people that we're with or something like that but this looks pretty nice and i think it'll just be interesting to fill up potentially by the amount of time i get photos printed and fill it up maybe i can give it to brendan as a pseudo christmas present um we will see but i like the way it looks on the outside very sleek and it's just got a little bit of sort of floral um like flower and some greenery painted on and just says mr and mrs and the price i think it was inside yeah uh 9.95 so really cheap but that's it for all of the non-christmasy things now i'll get on to what you have probably been waiting for in the big bag oh no i gotta be careful there are some breakables but first up this is kind of a beauty or relaxing type thing and this is bath salts so i showed these they have all sorts of different scents it is sweet gingerbread that i went with warming and relaxing bath crystals yeah i made sure to check with all of these things as well that it's um vegan or no animal testing this one mm, it looks like it's made in australia but I don't know, mainly sold in England or something. I don't know why it's saying the UK on there. Perhaps it goes there and then comes back because of TK Maxx, I'm not sure. But this bag, uh, big bag was only $7.99 and I think that is a pretty good deal. I don't know how long this will last me, but it seems really economical. Let's bust it open. Ooh. That is really gingery. Just plain white. Um, I can't wait to use that one, but I'll probably use it a little sparingly because that is so strongly scented. That's nice. I haven't been too lush for any Christmas uh, bath bombs yet. So this is kind of my first Christmassy bath purchase of the season and I can't wait to use it. Maybe I'll have a bath later. We will see. I just noticed on the back as well that it says use two generous handfuls into a warm bath. So considering this is one kilo, it's going to last a long time. So maybe I'll decant some into little jars and give it to my mom or my sister just to see if they want to try some as well because this is probably going to last a few years if I don't. Now I also have a little bit of kitcheny stuff. So 
So the first of which are these adorable cookie cutters. I do have a lot of cookie cutters that are um, like my Christmas ones, but I think they're mainly stars and also standard sort of gingerbread men. But this one has a stocking, like a, sta a Santa outline, and also a Christmas tree. So that might be nice for some just Christmas baking. And I know it sounds very random. This one called to me because of the packaging. Can you see there's just little cartoon Santas on there? I do love the presentation on all these sort of items in there. Everything looks really cute in its packaging for the most part. But these ones were the most affordable of all the um, cookie cutter bunches. It is $4.49 for this pack. And it actually has some recipe on the back as well, so that's interesting. Very basic sugar cookie recipe, but maybe I'll jot that down and, I don't know, <laughs> use it to make some biscuits as well as gingerbread ones when I do some pre-Christmas baking. Now I also grabbed a food item, or I guess this is more of a drink, and it is a bag of chai spice, or sticky chai spice mix. And obviously it's vegan, it says on the packaging, which is good for me, because I do know a lot of the time chai syrups and things have honey in them, they're not vegan, or I think a lot of the powders have dairy powder, but obviously this one's fine. I also like the fact it's got a cute little koala on there. I think it's an Australian brand. Yeah, chai spice. But this one seems to have agave syrup as well as black tea and all the spices. And you can probably see, hopefully, in this little window here, that it's kind of, like you can sort of see the agave. Um, so it's actually big chunks of everything, the tea. It says that it serves 16 and this was just $12.99. So I think that will be nice in the lead up until Christmas because it's kind of Christmassy, I think, chai. So I'm keen to try this out. I think you're just meant to heat it up with milk over the stove. Um, I mean, maybe you could heat up the milk in the microwave, I don't know, but this is more like a traditional sort of chai mix, I think. Actually, let's open this one up too so I can smell it. It's like childproof or something. ripped it in the wrong spot but that smells so nice I'm definitely gonna need to brew up a cup today once I put it into another bag or maybe I don't know what they've done it's glued shut with some sort of crazy glue or something um, or the ziplock is stuck but that smells really nice I think I might actually brew up a cup and have my gingerbread bath later I have a special cup for it, which I might show you now. I couldn't resist. I actually have a few Christmas mugs already. Um, I feel like I've got a lot of mugs in general and having a few Christmas mugs, I really don't need anymore. I know I've kind of excused all of these sort of purchases and said, well, I need it for this reason or that reason. I just bought it because this Santa is so adorable. I feel like it looks like kind of a vintage Santa mug or something. He just looks very old fashioned. Very cute. And this one was $6.99. So I feel like, I don't know, I've, I've definitely seen mugs like this that are more expensive at other shops, but he looks great, high quality, and I couldn't go home without him. It's the same brand mug shops as a few other mugs that I've gotten from TK Maxx in the past. But this one just has a really high quality look. I would wonder if maybe they've got other characters. I definitely didn't see any others today, but I already know I'll be going back to TK Maxx um, before Christmas. I checked at the checkout with the worker and just asked, oh, do you know how much more stuff is coming? Because I feel like there wasn't as much stuff as last year when I went. And she said that, yes, a lot more stuff is coming and just each week uh, to check back. <laughs> but um, I don't think I'll necessarily be there every week. I will definitely make at least one more stop and hopefully share that with you. But yes, I think this is really adorable. Although I might have to bring the Santa to work as my work mug. Mm. Long, long story, but um, yeah, I don't think there's room in the cupboard for him at home, if you know what I mean. And this is definitely going to be used a lot. Another kitchen-related item is this truffle oil. So 
I feel like it looks kind of nice. It's um in this really tall glass bottle. There's 100 ml, but for truffle oil, I feel will go a long way. And I picked this up, not necessarily for myself to cook with, but kind of with the idea I will give it to someone as a gift because obviously it's a nice cooking item. I thought maybe for my husband, Brendan, since he is a little bit of a home cook himself, we both like to cook and I think he will find this pretty useful. It seems like the sort of cooking ingredient that would be nice as a gift, um, not something to cook with all the time. But if I give it to him as well, that means I get to use it too. So it's win-win. And this was just $12.99, so not bad. I noticed as well, it's not in the truffle oil, but it's got some truffles down the bottom. And yeah, I think it looks really lovely. I didn't see too many other things by this Truffle Hunter brand, different truffle oils, just this white one. But yeah, I'm keen to see how this goes. Three more items. So the first one out of the last is the only scented item that I picked up for Christmas. I think I did share the fact that there was one tiny stand of all the scented stuff for Christmas, you know, candles and potpourri, whereas there's normally like a whole aisle. So I'll have to go back and check that out when they get more because I was told that more stuff was coming, so we'll see. But I did pick up this room spray. It says that it is cinnamon vanilla scented, which sounds really lovely. Mm. It smells so nice. Um, I have picked up one of these room sprays before from TK Maxx, just in a different scent. And I think the sort of scent throw is pretty good. It's lasted me a long time. So this one, I mean, obviously it's Christmas related. So I might start going ham using it around the house now when I'm not using candles, but I think it just looks nice, smells nice. And obviously it's a nice alternative to candles. Even though I love candles, it's nice to have other things. And this was only $6.99. I'm still holding out hope that the candles come in soon even though I've got a lot of Christmas candles already you know what it's like sometimes you just want new scents and I think the ones that I have are actually getting pretty low so I think it's about time that I buy a few more but I'm just gonna be patient uh, now last of all I have a few Christmassy sort of tags both funnily enough from the same brand these are actually Martha Stewart's Ooh, out of my hand so I've got some stickers first and I realize they're a bit hard to show just behind the cellophane, but these are just sticker gift tags, eight sheets of 15 stickers. So a re pretty reasonable amount. Let's show without the glare. They're just red and white, really adorable and a little bit different to ones that I have now, just more cheap ones from Kmart. These look a little bit more high quality and I just love the little things on them. like. What does that say? Don't open until the 25th of December. They just look really adorable. So picked these up since I am running low on gift tags. And even though I probably won't be wrapping too much stuff, I normally like to use gift bags. There are still a few things that I will wrap just for size, I feel. Um, I always try to use things or wrap things for presents in a bit more of a reusable way, but sometimes I can't get around it and I definitely needed new tags, so glad to have those. And before I forget, they were just $3.99, so probably cheaper than I would have spent at Kmart on stickers with presents anyway. And then last of all, I think that these would be better for gift bags. I've got some actual tags that are hung on string. These look really high quality, really beautiful. There's 20 tags and they just have four different designs. Can you see? I saw these and just had to pick them up. Again, um, kind of like that mug. They just have a bit of an old fashioned look to them, which I thought was adorable. And I thought it would be useful to put on gift bags. They've got a little to and from and the string. So that'll be handy since I think over time, a lot of my gift bags have lost their cards and Obviously tying this on, that makes the gift bag reusable to the recipient as well. Those little things that I think about. Um, these were only $4.99, so again, really affordable, just like everything else, all these little bits, but can't wait to use these. And just wrap presents in general, and for that matter, do all my present shopping. I do have a little list in my phone sorted, so I know what I'm going to be buying most people, but have yet to do the actual shopping. So hopefully one of these weekends soon I'll get started. 
But now I will be leaving you here. I hope you enjoyed this little trip to TK Maxx and the mini haul at the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, let me know if there are any other particular shops you want me to go to in the lead up until Christmas. Again, I think that maybe this will be helpful if you're stuck at home or, you know, if you want to see what's in shops at the moment. I'm unsure what the Christmas selection is like at a, you know, Big W and Target, kind of competitors to Kmart. Maybe I'll suss it out, see if there's enough stuff for a video, but at the very least, I may go back to Kmart to see if there's anything more in the lead up until Christmas and we'll definitely make another trip back to TK Maxx. But like I said, I will be leaving you here. So I just wanted to thank you once again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.